everyone, I'm Bella and welcome to our 20 minutes yoga practice for low back pain. This is going to be a very gentle yoga practice. We're going to hold certain poses for enough time in order to let the low back relieve some of that discomfort that it may be feeling. So if you're ready to begin, then we're going to come to lie on our backs. So lie down on your mat, bring your feet wide so that they come to the outer edges of your mat and let the knees fall in so that they're touching each other. You can close your eyes and place your hands on your stomach. Just gonna take a couple moments to breathe here. Lengthen each inhale and deepen each exhale. Bring some awareness into where in the low back you might be feeling some discomfort and try to send the breath to those areas. So with each, with each breath in, just imagine that you're Bring in new oxygen with each exhale. Imagine that some of that discomfort from the low back is getting released. Feel how the low back is starts to sink into the mat. Feel the tummy rise and fall as you breathe. Take one more cycle of breath. Gently open the eyes. Hug your knees into your chest and just give them a gentle squeeze. <clears throat> We're gonna take some circles with the knees. So move your hands to come to the backs of your thighs. Bring the knees further into the chest, keep the feet together and then start to bring the knees apart. Push the knees away from you, bring them back to center, pull them in, and pull the knees apart. So we're taking wide circles, bringing them in first, then away from the body, and then back in. So as we take these circles, try to keep the low back flat onto the mat. So if you want to imagine the frontal hip points tilting up towards your rib cage, that'll help to bring that energetic alignment. We'll take one more circle going this way. And then we'll switch, bringing the knees out and then in, lowering them away from the body, then out and back in. Just bringing a little bit of movement into the low back. And a couple more circles this way. your last circle, extend the legs up to the sky, flex through the feet, and we're just going to hold it here for a moment, keeping the hands on the backs of the thighs. If the legs won't straighten all the way in this position, you can feel free to keep them a little bit further away from the body. And even if the knees need to be bent, that's totally fine, as long as you feel that the back is really flat and even along the mat. Just take a couple breaths here. Continue to tilt the hips up towards the rib cage, and that will also give you a little bit of core engagement. Bend the right knee into the chest and extend the left leg below you. Just hug the right knee in for a moment. Root down through the left hip. Extend the right leg just up to the sky. And same thing, this time we're just doing one leg at a time. Flex through both feet and gently pull the right leg into the chest. It really doesn't matter how far it goes, we're just bringing a little bit of length and stretch into the body, into the whole back side of the body. Oftentimes the low back feels pain because the hamstrings are very tight, the hips are very tight, so it's just constantly, the lower back is just constantly getting pulled down on. bend the right knee back into your chest. 
And this time we're going to take a gentle, easy twist to bring the right knee across the body all the way over towards the left and then extend the right leg or the right arm out to the right. If the right knee doesn't come all the way down to the mat, then just keep it hovered. And you can always use the left hands to help support it. And eventually we'll come into a full twist. your gaze to the right. We're just going to stay here for a couple of minutes. You can also put a pillow or a block under the right knee to help keep it supported if you need to. back up through center. Now we'll switch sides. So send the right leg beneath you. Hug the left knee into your chest. Squeeze it in. Root down through the right hip. And then extend the left leg up to the sky. Flexing through both feet. Bring the hands to the back of the left thigh. And just pull the leg in just a little bit. Continue to tilt the tailbone a little bit in and up. <clears throat> and then bend the left knee and we'll come to that gentle twist. Bring it across the body and all the way to the right, bringing the left knee to the mat or to the ground and then extend the left arm out to the left. Roll your gaze over towards the left. Send your breath to the lower back. Option again here to keep the left knee lifted, placing it either on a block, a pillow, or you can just use the right hands to help support it. We'll come back up through center. Hug both knees into the chest again. And we'll come into a reclined pigeon. So Bring the right ankle on top of the left thigh. Grab a hold of the back of the left thigh and just pull it into the chest as the right hip starts to open. If you want to deepen the stretch, then you can pull the left leg in from the left calf. And again, here you can flex both feet. switch sides. Bringing the left ankle on top of the right thigh. We'll go ahead and pull the right calf or you can bring the hands behind the right thigh and just pull that leg in. release the cross. And this time we're going to come into happy baby. So bring both arms in between your legs and then reach for the outer edges of both feet, grabbing onto them. Pull the feet up towards the sky so that the bottom of the feet are coming right up. The, the arms should be coming to the inside of the legs. And then with the hands, just pull the feet down so that the knees are coming closer to the mat and your shoulders want to sink down as well. So if you have full flexibility, then the thighs will come parallel to the mat, but it's okay if that's not happening. <laughs> It'll happen over time. It's a good um, inner hip stretch as well. Continue to root down through the sacrum and the tailbone evenly between both sides. And try to shrug the shoulders away from the ears. breaths. If it 
feels good to you to bring some movement in by rocking side to side, then you can do that. And then release the legs. Grab hold of the legs behind the thighs again and lift the shoulders and chest away from the mat. Hug your knees in, bring your forehead closer to your knees. And then release the head back down to the mat, bring the legs out 90 degrees. And we're going to flow like that, crunching in, bringing the forehead closer to the knees, and then releasing down. So we're getting a tiny bit of core work in, but then we're also, again, bringing some space into the lower back. Exhale as you bring the forehead closer to the knees, and inhale as you lower the head down. We'll continue like this for five more rounds. crunch in. Two more. And release everything down. We're going to come to to our tabletop position. So come up onto your mat. So come to all fours, stacking shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. And we're gonna take some cat and cow tilts. So inhale as you drop the tummy and lift the chest and the chin. Open through the heart center and roll the shoulders down the back as you tilt the tailbone up. And then on the exhale, you're gonna curl and tuck everything in, bringing the chin to the chest, rounding through the spine. And then we'll take that a couple more times, inhaling through cow and exhaling into cat. Inhale, expand, and exhale, pull everything in. Two more times. Inhale, reach the chest up, lift the gaze, and exhale, tuck chin to chest, round through the spine, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, lift, and exhale, tuck. Come back to a neutral spine. And from here, we're just gonna extend the right leg back behind us. Keep the toes tucked behind you and just push back through the right heel. So we're getting a nice stretch through the whole back side of the right leg. Keep your gaze looking down. And then from here, lift the right leg away from the mat. And we're gonna take a little balance challenge by extending the left arm out in front of us. Engage the core, and we're just gonna hold this for one round of breath. Inhale, and exhale, release back down. This time extend the um, left leg behind you, tuck the left toes and push back through the left heel. Then we'll lift the left leg and lift the right arm. Inhale and exhale. Release everything down. Tuck both toes. Bring the hands out in front of you ever so slightly. And then start to lift the hips up away from the mat. Coming into downward facing dog, but we're going to keep the knees bent. <coughs> So push the hips up and like our normal downward facing dog, we have all the same activation and alignment, but we are gonna keep the knees bent in order to keep a very, very long spine from the top of the head all the way up to the tailbone. So press evenly through all 10 fingers, melt the chest towards your thighs, roll the shoulders away from the ears, we're just going to hold this for three rounds of breath, continuing to send the breath to the lower back. <clears throat> One more breath in and out. Lower the knees back down to the mat. 
and then lower the hips to your heels coming into child's pose. Bring the forehead down to your mat. Feel gravity, pull the hips closer down to your heels. Reach all 10 fingers as far forward as possible and really root down through them. Use that strength to help pull your body up and pull the body through the hands coming onto your tummy and peeling the chest up into a mini cobra pose. So root down through the tops of the feet, roll the shoulders down the back and lift through the chest. I'm gonna hold here for a couple breaths. If the whole body is truly engaged, then the legs should be lifted away from the mat, apart from the upper thighs and the tops of the feet. And if you want to play around with lifting the hands and see if you can keep the chest still lifted, then you know that your back really is engaged. One more inhale as you lift up. And exhale as you press through hands and knees and pull the hips all the way back down to child's pose. We're going to flow through child's pose and cobra. Inhale as you pull your body forward back into cobra. Inhale as you lift the chest up, press down through the tops of the feet, and exhale as you pull the hips back, coming into child's pose again. Inhale, slide forward into cobra. And exhale, child's pose. Two more times. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, pull back. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, last time, child's pose. Roll your spine up, walk your hands in so that you're coming to sit on your heels. Come to the uh, middle of your mat. And we're just gonna take one seated spinal twist. So bring the left foot into your right hip. Step the right foot to the outside of the left thigh. Sit up tall. Reach the right hands to the ground behind you. Reach the left arm up to come alongside your left ear. Take an inhale. And then on your exhale, lower the left arm to wrap around the right leg. And then pull your, your right leg into your chest, twisting open towards the right. Continue to lengthen up through the spine as much as possible as you twist. And then release, coming back through center. And we'll switch sides. Bring the right leg below us. Step the left foot to the outside of the right thigh. Sit up tall. Bring the left fingertips behind you. Reach the right arm up. Inhale. And exhale. Wrap the right arm around the left leg to help twist you open towards the left. Go ahead and come out of your twist. Face the front of your mat. Place both hands behind you. You can lean back on them a bit. Bring the feet wide, and we're just gonna kind of windshield wiper the, the knees back and forth. So you can lower both knees over towards the left. Inhale, bring them up, and exhale, lower them down to the right. Inhale through center, exhale to the left. You can take this at your own pace. 
is helping to relieve the lower back a little bit after the stretching that we did. And on your final twist towards the right, this time go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Face yourself towards your right knee that's bent. Your knees should both be in 90 degree angles. You can frame the right knee with both hands and just sit up nice and tall right here. And then start to walk the left hand over towards the right, twisting open. And take this very in a very gentle manner. And then we'll walk ourselves back through center. Lower the knees over towards the left this time, and we're going to take the same thing facing the left knee. Make sure both legs are 90 degrees. Sit up tall. And then slowly bring the right hand over towards the left, and then twist open in the opposite direction. back through center and we'll lie back down on our mats and we're going to come to the same pose that we first started class in so you should basically almost be in it bring the feet to the outer edges of your mat let the knees fall in to touch each other bring the hands to your tummy and close your eyes feel the whole body sink down into the mat from the top of your head down to your shoulders, down to the low back and the hips and the pelvis. Feel the feet root down. You can stay here for however long you'd like, letting the lower back relax. If you're ready to come out of it, then take a full body stretch by reaching the toes below you and the fingers above you. And then roll over to one side, coming into a fetal position just for a brief moment. And push yourself up to come to sit on your mat. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Hopefully if you were experiencing some lower back pain, you feel a little bit of a sense of relief in that area. And if not, sometimes these things just take time. You can practice this quick yoga flow three, five times a week, however many times it takes for you to get a little bit less discomfort in the low back. Thank you guys so much for joining and hopefully I will see you all next Thursday for another yoga practice.